If you are applying for the O-1 visa and do not want to get your case rejected by USCIS, watch this video for the top 5 reasons why USCIS will reject any case and tips on how to prevent that from happening. Hi everyone, my name is Marcus and I'm an immigration attorney. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be talking about O-1 visa rejections. So just to be clear, there's a big difference between rejections and denials. So rejections means you sent off your case to immigration, they've looked at it and for some reason it's deficient so they send the entire case back to you, they do not cash your check and they do not give you a receipt number, meaning your case has not even started yet. For a denial that's completely different. For a denial it means that they've accepted your case, they cashed your check, they've given you a receipt number, and for some reason they do not feel that you meet the requirements of the visa, so they send you like a denial notice explaining why you were denied for the visa. So completely different. If you want information on how to prevent a denial, I do have a video on that, so kindly check that one out. But today we're going to be talking about O-1 visa rejections, the top five reasons why immigration would reject you. So let's get started now. So the number one reason why an application gets denied is because there are no signatures on it. So for example, the petitioner needs to have to sign certain parts of the form. So for example, form I-129, there are two specific sections where the petitioner has to sign it. So if there are no signatures there, it is definitely going to come back. So what is the tip? Well sign the form. Also, you might want to sign the other parts of the form, I'm sorry, sign the other parts of the application as well, including like the contracts, the itinerary, and any other part that the petitioner needs to sign. Super important. If the petitioner's signature is not there, it is definitely getting rejected. The second reason why a case could get rejected is because of the money. So USCIS functions very much like a business. They want their money. So give them their money. Basically this means that you need to know what the filing fee is. Make sure you pay the filing fee accordingly. Make sure you attach it onto the form. So if there's no filing fee, there's no check, it's going to come back to you. Or if the amount is wrong, it's going to come back to you. Or let's say everything is right but you didn't sign the check, yeah, guess what? It's going to come back to you. So make sure you double check the amount. Uh, they change the amounts all the time. So make sure you got the right amount, make sure you sign it, and make sure it's attached to your application as well. Usually what I like to do is staple it onto the first page of the application so the first thing they see is the check and you're good on that point. Third reason why USCIS might reject your case. So this has got to do with the address of the employer or petitioner on the first page of Form I-129. So the first page is about the petitioner and they want to know, uh, well, the name of the petitioner, the address of the petitioner, and other information like the FEI number or social security. Super important. You need to have the address. This has been a recent change in the last couple of months, so you definitely need to have the address. If not, it's coming back to you. The fourth reason has to do with the dates of employment. So the O-1 visa, as you know, you can get it for a maximum of three years, blah, blah, blah. But they need to know those dates. So on one of the pages, it basically asks you, well, when's the start date and when's the end date? If those fields are blank, it's coming back to you. So obviously, fill out those dates. I mean, if you don't know the dates, then check your itinerary. Then your itinerary should have the first date and the end date. So put those dates down on the form. And the fifth reason has to do with the address, but not the address of the petitioner. We're talking about the address of where you send the application to. So in general, O-1 visas, you send it to usually the Vermont Service Center or the California Service Center, depending on where your petitioner is. Make sure you send it to the right office, because if you do not send it to the right office, they are going to send it back to you. In theory, they are supposed to help you forward it to the right office. I have never seen that happen. Uh, so I would say, like, make sure you get those addresses correct. So there you have it. So the top five reasons why a case would get rejected. I hope this was super helpful to you. Please like and subscribe and I will see you soon.